this whole week has really been a blessing to me. Um, you know, just the way the Lord has been revealing his word to me and scripture. And, you know, I really believe that we are in the, the last days, that we are truly in the last days, um, and that we need to have our homes in order, need to have our lives in order. Um, because time is short, time is short, and I believe the Lord is about to return. So I encourage you today, if you're not saved and you're listening to this, that, you know, it's not hard to be saved. He has mercy and he has grace available every day. The Bible says that his mercies are new every morning, that, you know, we have an opportunity to serve him now while we have the time. Um, yeah, I just, I was, um, woke up three o'clock this morning and really dreamt. Um, the last time I, I had a dream like this was years ago. Um, and it really shook me, really, really shook me. And, you know, last night was a exact kind of situation. I woke up out of my sleep at three o'clock in the morning and I just couldn't sleep, but there was just a fear, like a fear of the Lord that had just come over me. And, and I knew that coming from that dream, I knew that we were, were entering into a season not only of blessing, of uh, you know, signs and wonder. I truly believe that we're entering into a season of miracles. But I also know that you know, the enemy is going to try his hardest to deter us from the things of God and to try to discourage you, to try to take your focus away, whether it be through a discouragement, you know, battles, fighting battles. Um, so I truly know that along with, you know, how the Lord is going to move with his spirit, there's going to be a fight for the enemy. He's going to try and do whatever he, his time is short. His time is very, very short. But, you know, I encourage you today to, if you're watching this live and, or after this, and that you're not saved, I encourage you to give your heart to the Lord. That it's not hard to, you know, for him to wash you and to cleanse you and to, to change your life around. That he is able to do that. That's why he died on the cross. That's why we celebrate Easter is for that purpose. That, you know, heaven is real. Hell is real. Um, what he has done for us on the cross, that's very real. So he is able to wash and he's able to cleanse you from all sin, unrighteousness. So, you know, when I had woke up from my dream, I didn't know that a pastor, for, a pastor friend of ours, um, four hours north of where we live right now, she dreamt of almost the same thing at almost the same time she woke up at the same time. So, you know, I encourage you to stay in your word, stay saved, stay close to Jesus, and that I believe that he is about to return very shortly. But with that, we want to wish you a happy Easter for the rest of, I don't know how long, two more hours. going to be Easter. We are blessed that we could spend time with family today. But we love you all. We thank you all for joining in very briefly with us. I spent all day outside, so my voice is kind of all over the place, itchy. And... But God bless you. We love you all. We thank you all tonight. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday, 7 o'clock p.m. Saskatchewan time. We're, we'll go live again for the lift. Um, service we do every Tuesdays with Apostle Michelle from Montana. She joins us every Tuesday, so join us on Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Bye.